What's up, my G's? It's your boy Chris William Beats. I'm back again, guys. Another tutorial. So for today, it's gonna be like different from uh, the previous. Today, I'm going to break down the vocal, uh, the vocal preset that I made inside Logic Pro X. I was using both uh, Waves plugins and the Logic Pro X uh, stock plugins, and the song uh, called Ojumo. And the song was done by uh OKO. Uh shout out my brother from Ghana. Yeah, for sending me uh this uh vocal stems, that says ah, okay, just to send your song. I listened to the song, then I was like, ah, okay, I'm gonna use this vocal uh, uh preset. After that, I'm going to share the vocal preset with you guys. Get what I'm saying? Okay, so without further ado, uh let me jump inside uh the pro uh, inside the project. Then uh, we can start the process, okay? So there's the song uh, with the effect. Let me play the song with the effect, okay? Let me start uh, on the chorus, I think. Then from there, I'll come back to the uh, pre, uh, the face and the pre uh, chorus as well, okay? Okay, so you can hear the the, 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 the way the song sound uh, like, okay? So I'm going to mute all these, uh, I'm going to mute all these uh, plugins, uh, okay? So the first plugin, you know, is the pitch correction, you know, it's from Logic. I like to use this pitch correction a lot because it's easy to use. Uh, you can just choose the root key, the root note. Then you choose your scale or major or minor, it's up to you. Then I just put the response to zero zero. I just want the full amount of uh, the auto tune, the pitch correction there. Okay. Then the next plugin I put, it was like, uh, I put a noise gap. Okay. There's my setting. I just tied the threshold. Because the default looks like this. Okay. That is the default. The default. It looks like this. I just tied the threshold only. Then I put it on minus. Minus 40. You can hear there's some uh, background uh, noises. Then I, I just want to take off those background noises. Okay, so after the noise gate, I put the channel EQ. Uh, the channel EQ, there is my settings. Uh, this is my settings. I cut, I think, 218 uh, hits. Uh, because I don't want that. I don't want the boomness in the, 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 the low end on the vocal. Then from there, 117. I cut it about 12 dB. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there was some boominess and some bad frequency. That's why I cut it. I reduce it there. Then I boosted, I think, on 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, uh, 4.8 dB. Then I boosted on 12, uh, 12,000. Get what I'm saying? 12,000 is 1 dB. Okay. 
Then from there, I put the compressor uh, from Logic. I like to use this uh, this the compressor the inside Logic Pro X. Then there's my settings. You know what I'm saying? There's my settings I put on this focal. Uh, let me play. Let me play the focal. Then you can hear the different before and after. Uh, you can you can hear we put life we put life and energy inside the focal now it's sounding like a, a crispy nice and full so let me play to the beat uh, where i am now i think it's gonna allow me to play with that then you can hear the different. I'll mute the compressor. Then I'll play. I'll, I'll, I'll play before and after I put the compressor. Get what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so on the compressor, I touch, I think, a uh, threshold. I put it on uh, minus 20.5 dB. I touch the attack, I put it on 5.5 milliseconds. You know what I'm saying? Then I touch the release, I put it on uh, 91 milliseconds. You know what I'm saying? As well, I reduce the makeup key minus 2.5 dB. Let me see. let let me play it when I when when it's on the zero zero. You can see it's clipping. That's why I reduce it there. No. Okay, let let us move on. Then from there, from there I put this fresh air plugin from uh, Slate Digital. It's a free plugin. It's a free plugin. You know what I'm saying? These my settings. I just put the uh, five percent uh, air. I put five percent air on high. I put five percent on mid frequencies. I put it twenty percent. Let me play it before and after. Okay, then I put the DS from West. This is my settings. I just touched the, the, the threshold. I put it on minus 39.99. Okay. So from there, I created the bus. Okay, the bus. That's number two. I created the bus. Then on the bus here, I put these two plugins. The first plugin I put a dynamic EQ from Waves. This my setting. Let me play before the dynamic EQ. Let me mute the beat as well. Okay, then I put the dynamic EQ. Okay, I think I'm not I'm not gonna cut the low end again. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
So on this dynamic EQ, I was trying to trim some of the, the, the bad frequencies again. They were coming uh, through uh, through the process I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's all I do on the uh, dynamic EQ. Then I put the the bus uh, compressor from uh, Logic SSL. Uh, I just go with the preset. Yeah, I get a preset sender plus the compressor. There's my setting. I just touch the threshold from the reduce the threshold. Then I put it, I think, on minus 6.3. Listen now. I think guys you must uh, buy me something. This preset I think I I was supposed to uh it's uh, it was not supposed to be a free preset, but I just decided to give it for free to you guys. Please subscribe like comment and share if you want more of this uh, type of the tutorials i'm going to do more of them get what i'm saying okay so from there i created the, i created the the, the, the the sense now for the reverb and the delays so the first descent is the, the reverb get what i'm saying it's a reverb this one so this is my setting i put the ds minus 39.4 that is my setting for the ds from waves I put the uh, reverb from uh, logic is a stock the uh, the reverb so there is the there is the, 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 the there is the amount I put for this uh, uh reverb I think I put it let me see minus twelve point one okay so let me put it one hundred percent this uh, <laughs> And yeah, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need an EQ there for that reverb to cut it to trim the low end or the high end. I don't need it. Then I'll just uh, blend it. Just get on. put the, the the delay there's the delay okay let me put it on there's the delay uh i put a bit crusher from uh, from uh, logic it's a stock plugin i put the dry it's a default i think the default is gonna be like this but i think for this one i need to change it i need a, a radio effect here a fm radio okay then this one i put it 100 percent okay let me i will listen to test okay then I put the delay, stereo delay from logic again. I cut the low end only on uh, 110, I guess. You get what I'm saying? For this side, okay? It's sounding good to me uh, like that. I put a flanger, I put it on the me. I think it's a default. What the default, I think, is like that. The default is gonna be 100%. Then I put it on 30%. Get what I'm saying? Okay? So let me play it to test it now. With the changes I did, I wanna put it to hundred percent. Then from there, I send again the reverb to the delay. Yeah, get on there. I send the. I think I send how many percent? I think twelve point twelve point nine percent. Get on there. So let me test it now. <laughs> That 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 AFM radio effect. Okay. 
Was it was like I'm bringing some of the I don't know the <laughs> some of the the, the, the sound that, that I don't like. Get out and say. Okay, so I put the, the the gabler. It's from waves. That the last plugin I put on the uh on the uh vocal preset. Okay, so let me go there. Go that the preset. Okay. Oh, so on this gabler, I just put it on the default. I never touch anything there. Then I'll just uh, like reduce to test because my vocal was like sounding like a. Ah, like thin. So I want a wider focal. You get what I'm saying? That's why I put the double in the end. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this uh tutorial. Uh, I love you all. Okay, so if you want me to mix this vocal, this beefies, please let me know inside the comment section. I'm going to put the link to for you to download this uh, vocal preset inside the uh, comment section as well. I'm going to pin it inside the comment section. Please let me know what you or uh, what you think uh, about this vocal uh preset. Okay, so, so uh, I need to show you one more thing uh, before I go. Uh, when you want to load this vocal preset, you load it like this. Let me show you how you load it. Okay, you go. When you download it, it's going to come to you like this. Then you double click it. Then you can double click it to open it. Then it's open. Then you copy it. It's a vocal preset, but uh, the way you put it inside logic for it it's not that hard you know what I'm saying? then you go away it says home then you go away it says music or uh, audio music apps then you go away, it says patches then you go away, it says audio then you paste it here get what I'm saying then when you paste it here when you open your logic it's gonna uh this piece is gonna come where it says user patches because why why i didn't save it like a normal that preset like this i want to save the vocal preset with the reverb and delay and double the sense as well you get what i'm saying that's why i save it as a page otherwise i was going to save it as a channel strip you get what i'm saying that is the difference if you save it as a channel strip it's not gonna save with the reverb and delay and your sense okay guys thank you for your time thank you so much up and you will meet in the next uh tutorial much love oh,